Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have actually had just some very upsetting news. Uh, I'll tell you about that as we get uh, to story time in the colony. Um, so one of the things that I would like to do in this colony is transfer power. And I had this idea of taking it on this way, but that's actually a lot of space. You know what we could do? We could actually just take it on a bridge over this roadway. And I think we can sneak it under here if we make this differently. Uh, so we're, we're going to move this, uh, we're going to delete some of these pathways here shortly and get that spread on down through here. So we can just take this power line through the roadways over here. Um, yeah, and I think that would be, that would be a good way of doing things in this area. So maybe we take a path here. And we'll just make this pathway, make the pathway work. It's a little bit messy, but it's okay. It will be fine. Whoopsies. We don't want to make two there. Delete. Okay, here we go. But yeah, I was kind of shocked. Like really shocked. Really, really, really shocked. Uh, oh, wait, how do we do this? Hold on a second. We need... We need to have a... Oh, we can have a bridge over that? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. If we can have this thing over the top, that's actually kind of great. And then this one can be a three until we can actually get a step-down area. This can be a step-down area. Okay. And then this one as well. Oh, wait. You know what? Well, one of the things is I don't know how if they can get up that high. That is a very good question. Uh, but we'll we'll make it work somehow. Should we can take this one at level two the whole way? Because we could. We could just do this. That's level three actually there. Can we do a... Eh, we can't do it over the top of that, unfortunately. So maybe what we do is it is quite high over there. Let's see. Let's just take this one off. Delete. Okay. Let's try to maintain this at level three here. And then we need to get this through here at level one. No, excuse me. Okay, it will be fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It will be fine. It will be fine. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so that's how we're going to take it around, I think. And then just take this with a level one stuff and things over this way. And then we delete this stuff, which is a tiny bit unfortunate, but it will be okay. This is not critical. We have plenty of lumber underneath, I believe. And in any case, access to that lumber underneath for quite a while. So this will connect there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and prioritize this stuff here. Okay, this is that level. Okay, great. Level two. Okay, fantastic. Very good. Take this up here, and then I'm going to put in, we need to put in the power. We're just going to use the simple power things because it is significantly cheaper to not on this really long road. A lot of times I'll use these four-way corners, and that's fine for corners, but along the whole road part of it, eh, not so good, not so great. I, I just, I hate messing with these other corners because they're really hard to see which part is going where so i don't i just don't mess with it it's okay it's a minimal saving of logs basically if we use them actually this one i'll leave blank for now that might be an intersection i don't know so now we have power i'm going to go ahead and prioritize this part uh to be high there we go uh, and make sure that we get all of it going so then we have some good prioritization here with that stuff. We do actually have tons of planks, 204 planks. That's pretty good stuff right there. That is excellent. So anyway, we need to wait for our beavers to do a little bit of this work before we kind of go with anything else. Um, these guys, oh, they don't know what to do. Sad times. So let's have them do grilled potatoes and then maybe grilled chestnuts. Did we set up chestnutting? Oh yeah, we did. We did. We did set up chestnutting. 
Yay. So anyway, that's that. These guys, I think, are flooded, which is unfortunate. They're going to die, those trees. Sad times. But anyway, yeah, that's a thing. I, wonder, I guess the Lido is also inaccessible here for now. Can we put anything else here on the water? It's temple, healer, carousel. No, 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 no. Lido, shrine. I guess we could do a couple of shrines out there, but it really isn't a good space. Do we have enough um, uh, beds? Yeah, we have 14 extra beds, which is nice. I want to keep this colony small in general. Here is our uh, distribution post. That's great. Um, so now we can actually start to get the stuff delivered. So what I want to do is I want to put the distribution posts down here or whatever the heck they're called. They're called something. Drop-off points. Yeah, there we go. Drop-off points. So we want to just... Um, we're going to set all of this to 30 as per every... Oh, God. Numlock, thank you. There's no light for the numlock on this laptop keyboard. I don't know why. I've looked everywhere. It's not on the screen. It's not on the keyboard itself. Nowhere near the monitor. I've looked everywhere I can think of, and it's not even on the key itself. So it's kind of like, is it on or is it off? So I always try to keep it on. I wish that I could just permanently numlock on. Like, what the heck else do you do with these keys if you don't use numlock? I, I see there's like... There's like arrows on them, but why would you use those? Like when you have arrow keys and WASD already, like why? We don't need those ever. Let's see, there is end. Maybe I could use the end key because end otherwise is kind of, it's a function upper right hand key where I love doing end as end, you know? Okay, so let's see, um, we have metal. I think the metal though, let's take the metal, metal? No, scrap metal it's called, right? Scrap metal. Okay, this we're going to put in as 300, I think. And then let's take down to the warehouse level. Okay, and find here maybe. This one is at zero. So we'll do metal, scrap metal here, and then metal blocks nearby. Metal blocks. Okay, good. Nope, not quite. Not quite. There, no. Can you please click this? Jesus. Okay. Sorry about that. That was weird. It'd be weird. Okay, so do we want, need another staircase? Maybe. I'm kind of tempted to make one over here. Um, that might be good. Or alternatively down here. We could do one right here. Since this is a road to the under underground-y part, underneath-y party part of the party underneath the party whoa that sounds a little bit risque <laughs> tiny bit fun a little bit risque hmm nice yeah all right medical beds do we need any other stuff here I could do like a shrine maybe sure anyway okay there we go so anyway my ma went to poland uh and to visit a long lost relative she hasn't seen in 50 years and she was there promptly told by them that her daughter, meaning me, was horrible. And I was using her and I was a coward because I made them take care of her. And I ran off to Scandinavia. Um, they apparently don't have this understanding that a person has a dire medical need, as in they could die. Um, and German medical care was not anywhere to be found to be truthful um it was just terrible terrible i was i mean I literally the doctor required my wounds to speak deutsch and of course i don't uh, neither do my wounds i didn't know wounds could speak i think we i talked about this in a factorio episode but anyway apparently all of her relatives including the guy that i had to fight with her brother um for days and days and days and he treated me like absolute dog shit like serious dog shit dog shit that's steaming on the sidewalk and it's horrible that kind of dog shit um and it's like in the sun and there's flies all over the place he treated me like that and i'm a nice person i'm very polite i uh i believe that i'm a very good house guest i try to be clean and neat and do not make demands of any kind any kind none um and 
he treated me like ter just terribly, just absolutely terribly. Uh, and here he is saying that I am such a horrible person. So anyway, I never want to see these people ever again in my life. This this goes back to that um, thing that uh, Matthias taught me. The whole blood is thicker than water. Now, if you don't know the actual meaning of that phrase, you can go and look it up. Because people assume it's blood as in relatives are better than uh, friendships, right? But that's not what the phrase says. The phrase is the blood of the covenant as in the agreement, is thicker than the water of the womb. That is the actual meaning, which is the reverse of what most people think. Um, so uh, that is why I value my friends far, far above any random relatives I might come across in uh, random countries across the world. I, I swear, I, you know, I met people in Dutchland and they are so kind and so nice and so, so good. And um, these absolute nasty assholes in Germany and Poland were just evil. They were actually evil people. Um, and that, that's not a slur on everybody in Germany or everybody in Poland. I'm just saying these specific people who claim to be wonderful relatives and wonder why don't I, I, I want to uh, you know, engage with them or whatever, you know, all of this kind of stuff. They are the ones who are berating me. They are talking about me behind my back. They are telling my mom she's a bad mother. And I'm like, wow, they are so far from my reality. Like, I can't even yell at them because, like, they don't understand words. They don't believe in, in actual things. They're, like, in a different universe. That's how I feel it anyway. I, I think that they are just in another complete other universe that doesn't exist here at all. Um, so anyway, I, I believe in kindness. I believe in uh, being nice to other people. I believe in treating people with respect, which they did not bother to treat me with. That's for damn sure. Um, I believe in being good to other people, uh, but they don't. They don't. They they just don't even live in my reality. So I, <laughs> what can you do about that? You know, you can't do anything basically. It's just hell. These people are just hell people. And uh, I'm very happy that I am never going to have anything to do with them. They, they told my mom she is never to come back again. And I'm like, wow, that's nice. Jesus, that is nice. She is very polite. She's very nice. She's not demanding. And I have no idea why that, they would even say that to her. They claim, oh, I think she said they, they claim that she's too much trouble to, to do things. And basically, they are risking her life, taking her up and down stairs. I told, they told us she would be staying in a room uh, that has no stairs to get in. She could just sleep in the bedroom, and that's it. And now I hear from her, they're taking her up and down stairs every day to go to a dining room upstairs and i'm like what the actual f she is not permitted to go up more than one or two stairs at all and i'm like wow they're risking her life every day and then blaming her for that i'm like wow just just wow people you know you are so freaking clueless i i just i just don't even have words for this it is so beyond stupidity i, I can't even imagine how these people exist in real life i don't think they do i think they're not real life people i think they're completely made up people <laughs> just this is like this is a hellscape beyond imagining with these people um i mean my uncle has done uh some some things like looking up some uh stuff for us which was very helpful i don't deny that but man is he a hell terror to exist around yeah, we're just going to go with that. Hell terror. Hell terror. Anyway, our colony's going great. Sorry for the... That's probably TMI. I'm sorry about that. I just... I'm, I'm so upset about this. Like, she just told me this today. Before, she was telling me, oh, you know, they're treating her so well. They're so nice to her. Treating her like a queen. And now I hear this, like, they're now berating me. And that's making her upset. And, um, you know, I don't... I... 
I don't think it's right that they're berating me, but I'm also not going to get upset about it because I look at them as internet trolls. They clearly don't know who I am, and they're just spouting words without even knowing the meaning of them. So that's my, you know, reality with these people. Um, it, it's it's just, it doesn't even make sense. They don't make sense as people. They don't at all. So um, anyway, sorry about all of this digression. I think it's probably a little bit too much, but I'm just, I've just been really, I just found this out like moments before I started uh, recording this. So I apologize if it was too much, but here is a very good example of how a hellscape exists. Yes, let's go. Woo, woo wee. Okay, we have tons of food, 2000 food, 1600 here. And I guess the rest is over here. Um, we probably should make some warehouses. I'm thinking of making it here. Um, but I kind of want to have this stuff running. We want to get some lumber going on here. We don't have a lot of planks, which is unfortunate. But we do have a... Oh, no, we actually have a million planks. Okay, never mind. I think we have enough to completely finish this walkway and stuff like that. So I can start making the warehouses here. Let's just do that. Let's make some um, a storage layer. This game, I've learned to kind of play in layers. It's It's kind of interesting the way that works. Um, but it's it's good. It works, definitely. Do we have... I guess we have food storage underneath these guys. Probably for the carrots and stuff. This one is potatoes. And that other one... It is carrots. And there are zero carrots. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Uh, so we don't need those, as per se. But let's see what else we can do here. So that's warehousing. Um, so what we want to do here is have none, none of those. And then these are going to be like planks, I think. Okay. And this one is going to be none, none. I don't know if we actually need gears here. I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, okay. So let's just do a thing where we put in a walkway there or not really walkway but this is going to be the uh back side of stuff so i think we'll get a lumber mill here are we going go yep just no beavers over here i guess okay so we'll put these lumber mills there and set up a walkway here like this Perfect. That's going to be really nice and cozy for them. There we go. Okay. And this one is none. Yep. Okay. So we don't know what else we're going to put here, but at least we don't have to get uh, any... At least we don't have to get what? I don't remember what I was going to say. It, it will be fine. We have plenty of planks to make all this stuff here. We should... Let's go ahead and add a couple more slots here. I don't know if we have space. Looks like not. Let's have one more beaver here. I wonder if we can use that automatic transfer thingy. Let's see how that works, if we want it to work. I don't know. Migrate population. District 5. We want automaticing. Is that how we do it? Not really sure. Eh? Okay. Let's try... What is this button? Automatic immigration enabled. Automatic immigration. Okay, so this is... Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it and see if it keeps our population at 16. Uh, how is it now? 17. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's just been weird. Okay, we have two beavers not knowing anything. What, what I mean, not knowing what they should do. Let's go ahead and put them in one of these science latte huts. Uh, because that is great. Now, we have a metal making facility, finally. That's exciting. We have logs for fuel. This one is getting made. We're still waiting for scrap metal. I think we need another scrap metal um, uh, c collector. So let's go ahead and build that. Let's build two, in fact, because I feel like we definitely need another one. Um, and maybe, 
Maybe, maybe. Oh, you know what? This this uh, warehouse here can be for scrap metal. And they can just kind of collect some, even if there are no transporters available. Okay, looks like we have droughty times. We do indeed. Okay. And now we can start with other stuffs and things like dynamite. Ooh, fancy. So let's see, we have... Okay, there's a dirt excavator as well. That's 50 metal blocks. Holy fuzzy cats. Okay, let's make... We need to have a paper factory and an explosives factory. So let's get the explosives factory. That's fine. Yes. And this will give us the needed dynamite. Let's make... Uh, no, not yet. Actually, we do need to unlock this, but we I don't know if we have enough. Let's get another one. We need paper first, though. Let's get paper. Let's see. Printing press, paper mill. Yay! Because paper is used in explosives. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay, and... One of them can go here. Okay. And that doesn't quite fit there. I could build one there, but only if I remove these two medical beds. I could do that, though. I could just take them off. Yeah, let's just take them off and build up here. I feel like that road is more valuable. Or that, that placement is more valuable than the medical beds. Because we can move those medical beds anywhere. Really, anywhere. Okay, paper mill again. So what are we needing? So paper mill is 1.6 hours to make two. So point, point 0.8 for each, point 0.8, and then the explosive factory needs what? Okay, so point 0.8, it needs times 3, 2.4 to make 1. Okay, so we can actually fulfill... Okay, so it is-ish one-to-one. -one. It's it's a little bit different ratio than that, but it is, it'll 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 do. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause one of these for now. And we will also pause one of these for now. Uh, and hopefully get the rest of these printing presses and stuff made. Oh, I didn't realize the paper mills didn't need metal. I forgot about that. Okay, so now we have 775. We can build a printing press, which is good for beaver learning. Learning is good. We like learning. Okay, let's build two of those. These are what? What is the ratio on these guys? Can we see? Uh, printing press. One and 1.5 hours. So one of these will supply two of those. So if we keep the dynamite, we need one per each. So one and one is fine. I think what I'm going to do here also is go down a few levels and we need to store this stuff. So let's see, we have, what is here? We have metal blocks. Let's make this one for paper. And then this one can be books. Okay, and then this one can be explosives. But yeah, man, God, you, you just wonder like, how do people freaking open doors? You know, that's what I wonder. I, like, they are so stupid and so intent on being horrible that they they i don't know how they even survive these people I, I just don't get it either i don't understand it they're just horrible people um it's sad for me to even say that but it's true they are really horrible people um and they um what was the other thing i was going to say about that I just, I just don't understand why they feel the need to be mean. Why do they feel a need to be mean? I, I don't understand that at all. That doesn't make sense to me at all. You know what I could do here? I could get an excavator and make this uh, more uh, vertical. Brr, tasty. 
I could make this blockage higher. Make actual blocks. Oh, I want to do that. I want to do it. I want to do it. Let's do it. Terraforming station employs golems which place terrain blocks. Golem only. Okay, so we need to make golems first. Okay, dynamite. All right, we're going to buy not that. Okay, apparently we can't. Ex we need more science. Number cruncher. Let's buy one of these. Can't unlock. Not enough science. Oh, God. How much? 1,500? Okay. All right. I see. I see. We need to also pause two of these guys because we have too many thingies. I don't know if that included all of these guys, actually. Not quite sure. Also, I haven't done the math at all on the breeding pods and stuff, so... I guess we'll we'll figure it out soon enough. How are these guys doing? Do they have enough? Uh, okay, there are two more thingies, vacancies. So we need... Oh, no, they immigrated. Cool. They're now 19. I don't know how it decided to get 19, but <laughs> sure, let's go. All right, that's fine. But yeah, now we need these things to be finished. They have really done a good job with this power line. That's fantastic. Um, they managed to finish this part, but I think they can't get up there to finish the, um, these bits and pieces. So I think we actually need to help them do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause a few of these. Um, oops. Erk. Okay. Uh, mm, pause, 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 pause. We're going to delete this one because I think we need to, I think we need to get on top of this. That's my suspicion. And what we'll do is we'll put in a road here because this would be the next level of stuff, right? We'll just remove this crop, that one, but the rest can stay. And just do a standard spiral staircase around this thingy. We'll just not waste uh, what we have and just take it on and go that way and just tell them to build. Basically, let's prioritize um, this, excuse me, this entire thing here. These guys, there we go. And then that way they'll build the end bits first and then we'll just unpause as we can get them the rest built. Okay. All right. Very cool. So this one. Okay. And then upgrade. Yep. So they should get this stuff done pretty quick. Pretty quickly. We have tons of water. That's important. Just got to make sure we have enough water. Um, one thing that we can do here is maybe we decide to expand these platforms over the water, uh, so that we can get, uh, more building space. Like here would be great to have, oh, okay, that's fun. It's different than I thought. Uh, mm-hmm. So let's see if we if we take this road back and I think we can I think we have enough space for this now. Maybe we go like this and just take this road back along this area here. Okay, let's just see. Have they finished that one? They have. So basically just one at a time from the end and they are already prioritized. So we don't have any drama over that or any extra placement stuff let's see let's put this one in okay this one i could do that or i could delete one bush let's delete one bush okay and then pathways okay very good very good oh the sun is getting my laptop screen in an inconvenient way Okay, next one. 
it sadly it takes a, a bit of time but the problem is is they can't reach upward this many blocks so they have to use these stairs in order to go along this area and build these little things which necessitates you having to do it one at a time the exception was this section where they could reach all of them from that rooftop here um but yeah that's that's the way it is so what happened here why eh Building needs power. Oh, uh, yeah, we're working on that. Thank you. Our next one. Next, next, next. Okay, this one is back done. Hooray. This is looking really great. We now have two smelters making metal blocks. This is pretty fantastic. It takes four hours to make each metal block. I'm wondering if we should build more of those. It seems like maybe we should. Let's go ahead and build another one. Um, metal, metal, wait, how much power do we have? Oh, we don't know anymore. Oh, God. It's so annoying, the, the evening night cycle where it's, of course, it turns itself off again. It's like, really? Like, there's no demand because there's no beavers? I don't, I don't understand that. I wish it would extrapolate and say, ah, this many is turned on. So this is how many we have. Okay, we aren't, aren't actually succeeding in getting all of the power we need. So we need to make more water wheels. Uh, to that end, I think... Okay, so these are two on each side. So if I add another one, could do it here. This is two by five. So if we do, we would need to do a... Um, uh, not a dam, but a levee here. Uh, mm. Let's see. Can we get... I think I want to plan several of these, right? That's what I'm thinking of right now. This one, I think I would just want to also edit the floor of the river to definitely focus the water going through the dam or going through the wheel, I should say. Not through the dam, through the wheel. Levy here and levy there. And what's that looking like here? Yes. Okay. So what we want to do here is I want to create some bridgey bridges and have a staircase where our beavers can access this stuff. Okay. Now this thing is going to be here. The, um, the thingy is going to be there. I think we can do... No, we don't want to do that. Let's delete. Let's do a too high platform here. This is where the power is going to go out of. And that means we need to delete... Um, let's see. This thing has one block and then the power comes here. Okay. So that means we need to delete this stuff and go there. Okay. That's just fine. And the next one is weird, I guess. Maybe we can put it this way. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could do that. Could have the, the river going this way. That's going to look really strange, but it's okay. If we have it here. Okay, and that means we're going to build levees the other way. We really need to get several of these things made. Let's leave two spaces out outside of there. And then that means I will, let's add another platform here. Okay, so that's what we got right now. That is the thing that we have right now. Okay, yes. Is this above? Yeah, it is actually, okay. So we'll have to figure out how we want to proceed with the road exactly. I guess that way is going to be fine. If we do a road this way and the road kind of comes off where <laughs> we need it to go, really. Okay, so this is going to be the power up and there and there. That way goes there. Yep. All of this happens there. Okay. 
And the next thing is going to be this water connection here, which is just fine. And we need a too high platform there. Actually, we need to take this one off. And then this one will be... This is just going to be the straight shaft here, I believe. And that can interconnect with this without needing an extra road here. I think that will work quite nicely. So we're going to go ahead and prioritize the staircase so that beavers can get stuff done. And we will see if we can just... I think they can go down there. We'll see. Let's let's see if they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can they can go into this entire uh, under area, of course. Fantastic. All right. So it looks like we can have a little bit of a water shallows out here, or we can create our own pool right out here. That might be quite nice uh, just to have our own little pool. We maybe even can have a pump um, to or, or water something to something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There are many options in this game, which is one of the reasons why I love this game so much. Uh, it is one of my top three games of all time, and that's saying something. I've been playing games for many, 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 many years and decades and all the things and all the stuff. So you can trust me. I know things. I have played many games. Okay, this is looking pretty good. How is this area looking for... Um... Okay, so this is not finished yet. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, that just connects there. But it does look like the other one is mostly mostly full. It's not like draining horribly, so that's good. Okay, so let's see. Make sure that they get this shaft done. I really want to get these shafts. We really need to focus that because I haven't been... I've just been like, oh yeah, let's build the other thing. <laughs> Which works sometimes, but not today. It doesn't work today. Okay unpause this one. Come on, beavers. There comes the next beaver. Okay, bringing stuff, bringing things, things and stuff. Okay, next piece. And now we are actually, okay, so the forester has now planted the entire set of trees here, which is great. Uh, it looks like we have extra area over here that I didn't realize. So let's go ahead and plant some more maples over here. Those are our uh, tree, tr uh, wood trees, wood trees. I know that probably sounds very strange to people, wood trees, as opposed to non-wood trees, right? <laughs> I forgot how far it goes up here, so we will uh, check. Oh, oh, wait, oh, okay, autosave. Okay, that was cool. It's fine, autosave is great. It saves us some misery. That's for darn sure. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to get that, like, there's a shade on the window. I think I'll have to close it. Or at least partly because it's like really shiny in here. Shiny, shiny. I've had to move my laptop six inches to the right, which is several centimeters. There's, it's two and a half centimeters per inch, I believe. So you can do the calculations if you like. Anyway, what do we have here? We have three beavers bored. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. That's three. Uh, all right, it does look like we have an explosives factory working. Boom! Both of our paper factories are going full tilt. This is excellent. We actually have no wood. We have no wood right now. So that is one of our issues. Um, but the problem with the wood... Why is this wood not getting cut? Is This, on, this is on a different plane, I think. So what we need to do... How on earth... Uh, all right, so let's let's do a thing here. We need to, let's cut these trees are not getting cut for whatever reason. I think they're too far. So let's put in a wood cutting flag over. Oh, not that one. Here, and cut these trees because I want to get to this area so that we can use some uh, or plant some more trees out here. And we need a staircase closer by to the forester's hut because right now it's not. Very good. Not efficient. Okay. One more, two more tiles of power line, and we should be set. Can't get all the required materials. Oh, boy. That's not convenient. It'll get there, though. These guys are soon... Wait, did we get a cutting 
area. There's a gatherer flag. This is another gatherer flag. Why do we have many gatherer flags here? We can delete this one. Do we have any lumberjack flags in this city? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't. It's all right. It's all right. So I'm going to put in uh, two different ones. One there, and then I'll put one over here. It's a very small area, but I feel like we'll be able to uh, get it going very shortly. Okay, lumberjack flag. And that way they're going to be able to cut this if they have a cutting zone. <laughs> now this area, of course, is non-cuttable because that is being gathered for chestnuts and for maple syrup. Do we have, is this a tapper shack? It is. Okay, so one of the things or some of the things we don't actually have storage for yet are those things. Let's go ahead and put those in. Put in a warehouse for stuff and things. Mostly, let's see, none, none. Uh, we'll put in for maple syrup. Okay, and then this one will, will be for chestnuts. Chestnuts. Now, I need to figure out if we have, like, what's under here? What lives under these these little guys? This one is grilled chestnuts. Ah, okay, so we have the grilled chestnuts. We have the grilled potatoes. Now, did we, we actually did allocate for grilled chestnuts. That's perfect. That's fantastic. Okay, so now we have, let's put these on high priority. And it looks like we have four jobs that are needed. Let's go ahead and go back to this district center here and see how this is gonna work. One, two, three, four, five, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what this means. Minimum five. Can I... Can you tell me what this means? Is this five above what they normally are? Or five above the unemployment point? I don't understand what five above means. I don't, I don't get it. Or five below. What, what does that mean? I, I don't I don't know what the reference point is. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, printing press is getting there. Metal blocks. Let's put this on slight higher priority so it gets more than the other one. But this is great. We are soon getting stuff and things. We have explosives actually. Do we we have two dynamites? That's great. Okay, so how is this going? Is this working? How's this working, guys? Oh, we don't have any wood, of course. That's our problem. Our main problem is not enough wood. Uh, let's see. This is now flooded. That is not ideal. Okay. Crap. <laughs> Crap. No. What we could do, actually, is build a levee here. And I think that would solve, um, this issue of flooding here. Maybe. Would it? I don't know where the water's coming from. Might. Let's see if it does. I don't know if it will. It may be. Maybe it will. Okay, so now this one, let's put this on high. It's flooded now. Oh, that's wonderful. Crap. Or we could just delete these trees. That is another option open to us. I'm hoping not because we do actually need the trees. Mm, you know, another thing we could do is grab. So these guys don't have any trees available to them, I believe. So we could just stack this forest up into the lands of your let's see can they get here i think they can i think this is pretty green territory here workplace yeah definitely want people working there and make the cutting zone as well to be big Get all the trees you can, basically. Have a nice time. Kill the enemies. Yes, we believe in killing the enemy. Good. Okay, great. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area. I feel like maybe may, maybe we make a big pool. Maybe for a Lido or something like that. And have some spatter dock. 
and the cattails and stuff growing. And so, like, when they go swimming in the Lido, like, the cattails can tickle their little tootsies. So wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, we are actually at a point where we probably should stop for today. I'm very happy with the progress we've made. Um, we're getting a lot more automation. We're building a lot more stuff. And soon we'll be able to bend the landscape to our will. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.